Hello, it is Wednesday evening. Andrew's parents are actually still in town right now. They leave tomorrow, but tonight is a special night because we are celebrating Andrew's mom's birthday and it was in late September, but we're celebrating it now and we're going to a Michelin star restaurant. It's called the River Cafe in Brooklyn. Very, very classic. It's been around since the 70s and it has a really pretty view of the Manhattan skyline. So I am looking raggedy right now since I just finished work. I'm gonna go get changed and then we're gonna take the ferry there. The dress code for this restaurant is fancy. A guy needs to wear a suit and I need to wear something kind of dressy. So I'm trying to figure out what to wear because I'm not a dressed up kind of gal. And in case you're wondering what my closet in a New York City apartment looks like, this is it. This is it. As you can see, there is no space, like no empty space left unused. Every single ounce of my closet is occupied because that's what you got to do. I even got these hooks on the side for my purses and my totes and my hats and this shelf for all of my foldable clothes and this for my workout stuff and my undergarments, a suitcase in there that you better believe is packed with stuff as well because that's counts as storage so yeah now let's see what I should wear this is our fit got my leather blazer a brown sweater that's backless some black trousers and this cute vintage bag this is my version of dressy Ooh, and my earrings that you see here are actually from a female Filipina owned jewelry business I think in Seattle or Portland, I forgot, but I'll link the website to these earrings below. She makes them all herself and there's even more um, colorful and more complex designs, but I just got these simple ones. Saturday evening, Andrew's parents actually left yesterday to go back to the Bay Area where Andrew and his family is from. And I'm about to whip up some dinner. <laughs> Unfortunately, I have caught a cold. Yes, just a common cold, nothing more than that. But I'm very stuffed up. My nose has been running, it's been stuffy. I've had a little bit of a cough. And overall, it's just been kind of sucky. So I'm actually gonna make one of my favorite recipes growing up that my mom used to make me. It's very, very comforting. It's a soup dish. It's perfect to kind of clear your sinuses. And it's called Ma Yo Ji Mian Xian, which is a Taiwanese dish and it translates to sesame oil, chicken, noodle soup with a lot of rice wine because um, this dish actually has a lot of cooking wine, but most of it does evaporate and what leaves in the soup is um, just that really nice like alcohol rice wine flavor 
It has a lot of ginger, so it's really, really healing and good for your immune system. It has chicken, and it's just overall perfect for the autumn weather as well, but I'm gonna attempt to make it. Uh, I looked up a recipe online, and I have double-checked the instructions with my mother over the phone, so let's see if I can make it taste good. finished I already taste tested it and it tastes okay I think I definitely did some steps wrong I can't quite pinpoint what it is but I think I didn't put enough black sesame oil ginger and then I might have put the heat on too high so all the rice wine kind of evaporated but it looks okay I've got my mayo jimian shin assembled if you're Taiwanese then you know how amazing this dish is and how comforting so let's give it a try I just took some pictures because my mom used to make this for me and she would be very happy to see that I made it it is not enough rice wine flavor but it's still good it's still good we actually it's pretty good you gotta do have to mix up the noodles a little bit Are the mushrooms done? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Mmm! Actually, I'm pretty impressed. Tastes like home. I'm like already sweating because I was like going back and forth between the kitchen and making sure that everything was good. So, let me just enjoy this meal now. And uh, this is, I feel like it's curing my cold bed a minute. Mm, got some avocado toast this morning for brunch on our day off. It is Veterans Day, so me and Andrew both have the day off. And we're very excited that we have a three-day weekend because work has been dragging on for too long. My favorite brunch item, avocado toast. It is scheduled to rain today, but we're still gonna make the most out of it because this is the last weekend that me and Andrew are gonna be together before he and I each go on our own trips. I'm actually going back home to California on Monday for a week, and then after that, I have another week-long trip, and then after that, Andrew has to go to other places as well. So this is gonna be a very bonding weekend, and I'm very glad that it's a long weekend. So we have all the time in the world to enjoy each other's company. <laughs> Is it here? decide between the basil green apple or the sesame apricot mousse. But I got this one.
We're currently at this Japanese French dessert shop. And I've been wanting to come here for a while now because they have really aesthetic desserts that are like half French, half Japanese flavors. So I got a really cool like mousse thing here. Andrew's enjoying his cheesecake. Is it good? with this location and I ran at the bar and it's kind of raining right now. Let's see if it's good. These were kind of expensive so they better be good. <laughs> shorts because it is so hot the temperatures in New York City have been so up and down and I just didn't want to get any nice pants wet in the rain because I'm getting ready to pack for a trip. I am leaving for California tomorrow to go and see my family for a week. For those of you who don't know, I am actually originally from California, born and raised in SoCal, Southern California, and my parents both still live there. So they live in LA, or a little east of LA technically, and I'm gonna see them for a week. Um, and half of that week, we're actually going to Portland, Oregon. My parents have both never been. I have been plenty of times and I love Portland. We kind of just figured why not go somewhere instead of staying back in California for an entire week, especially since there's not much to do around where I live. And we scored on some pretty cheap flights going out of LAX to Portland, Oregon. 
because it is off peak season right now november usually isn't a popular time to go to portland because of how cold and wet and rainy it is this morning i've already spent some time putting together outfits trying things on because it's kind of going to be tricky to pack i have half of the time i'm in california and where i live which is kind of considered like the desert area it's going to be in the 70s or high 60s 70s and then in portland the highest temperature is going to be like in the 40s so definitely layering pieces and i'm going to make sure that i have you know warm accessories i'm going to bring this baby here this is a hard case carry-on with wheels that my boyfriend actually gifted me like five years ago and it's by calpac it's really old but it's very sturdy because i usually don't like to bring a roll on carry on a rolling carry on i usually just bring a backpack um, forever for wherever I'm traveling just because I like to have the backpack with me um, This is my baby my all-time favorite carry-on. It is the Osprey I don't know the name of it, but I got it from REI like three and a half years ago, and I love it This is definitely my primary carry-on Accompanying my hard case carry-on here and the one that I'm bringing is this one by Amazon I can link it below, but I just purchased this because I used it for Puerto Rico. Um, I flew Spirit, so I only brought a personal item, and this one was it. It is the perfect backpack that I mentioned are calculated so that I can fit directly underneath your seat. And still, there's so much room. There's so many compartments in here. I love it. So I'm going to read this and this. Here is a sneak peek at what I'm going to be packing. It's kind of all over the place, but I've got these as my accessories. This beanie is from Forever 21 men's section. I got it for a dollar like six years ago. This is from Target. I am bringing one scarf. I like this neutral color. It's like a brown ombre tan. And I've got a few sweaters here. These are actually going to be layered underneath crew neck sweatshirts. So double layer double the warmth and i like this stripe one from everlane this turtleneck because it's thin and it also adds like a little bit of design peeking out from underneath my my collar where i'm gonna have the sweatshirt so it's just like an extra pizzazz these are the crew neck sweatshirts that i was talking about i'm gonna bring this new black stitch sweater and this is just a regular crew neck sweatshirt and my uh green pukey green dickies these are straight leg pants and i really like the color and as for shoes i'm just gonna bring a pair of running shoes and these boots um these are from urban outfitters from like three years ago and it's like a chelsea boot with these rugged soles they're gonna be perfect for the portland weather when it's wet and i also honestly double these down as rain boots as well because i don't know it's just i don't feel like you need rain boots when you have these boots and they're pretty resistant so yep these are gonna be my main shoes so yeah i am gonna get to packing now i hope you guys enjoyed this video i'm not going to be vlogging when i'm back in california and when i'm in portland but i do have a trip coming up right after i get back from California it's gonna be a girls trip and hint hint it is somewhere in Europe so I also have already planned all my packing outfits for that one I might actually film a packing video so stay tuned for that I'm gonna go ahead and get to packing because my flight is tomorrow right after work thank you guys so much for watching my video and I hope you all have a great rest of your week bye